Hey everyone, this is Livia Caudel with Conscious Wealth Builders and you are here on the online summit and I have the utmost privilege to be here with one of my favorites of all time, a dear friend of mine, Miss Bonnie Bruder. Welcome, Hello, everybody. Welcome. Thank you for having me, Livia. Thank you so much. It's such an honor and a privilege to be here today with your audience. Oh, so awesome to have you too. And I just cannot speak more highly of you. You're just such a phenomenal woman. And I've, you know, just had the privilege of spending, um, you know, a week with you in New York. And prior to that, we were in Dubai speaking. So we've yeah. gotten to get to know each other on a, on a personal level. And you're just, just a wonderful woman beautiful heart. Thank you. Thank you. I feel the same. I know it's funny. Our relationship over the last year has been very condensed. So I feel like you are a bestie, but also it has been the, prof it's always been in the professional space, but we've managed to have as much fun as humanly possible as well. So yes. I love it. I love oh, your and what you're doing. Oh, thank you so much. So, um, yeah, when I had shared with you about this online summit, you know, I had expressed to you um, you know, you're a, you're a conscious entrepreneur. You're a woman who's had a background working with Tony Robbins and a lot of the greats inside of personal development. So before we dive into, you know, the whole conversation of really how you can take your conscious business, a business that's in alignment with your purpose and really create a prosperous business, tell us a little bit about you and your background and all these amazing people that you've worked with throughout your young adult life. Yeah, um, I've been very blessed and very fortunate, as you mentioned. I've had a 20-year career in the personal development world, and it's funny because when I met you and you're talking about conscious capitalism and conscious wealth building, I'm like, what is she talking about? Because for me, I've been so blessed to be with these speakers that that's just part of their model. They're doing good in the world. They're changing lives. They're contributing to others. Yeah. And so it was so um, rewarding to actually meet you, to have you put a, a word to it and to be able to communicate like what is so important when creating a business. So. Mm. Um, my background, I worked with Tony Robbins' organization for 10 years. I toured all over the world. I got to coach 7,000 people um, all over the globe. And the best oh, wow. part about that is I met every type of person, every type of problem, every type of business that you could possibly imagine. Um, I then went and I worked for Christopher Howard Training for two and a half years. I was the director of production of North America for their company, and they taught NLP, hypnotherapy, and presentation and platform skills. And then in 2008, I went out on my own and I developed my own brand. I've authored four books. I have an online university called Join Create You. And I um, basically followed my heart. I still consulted. I worked with A-level players like Alex Mendozian, a top internet marketer for five years. I worked with Harvey McKay, who wrote The Swim with the Sharks. Uh, books and that whole genre of business and then about four years ago followed my passion and my heart and moved to New York City to become a television talk show host <laughs> and <laughs> woo, woo. yeah that was my dream my vision board which I was actually just admiring this morning before this call um, my main goal in my career was always to go on Oprah and when Oprah ended I thought huh Hmm. Now what? <laughs> so um, I decided that I was going to follow my heart and come to New York and figure out how to start my own talk show. So that's what I did. Um, fast forward three years later, we now have 12 different shows that we produce in our umbrella. We've become a full-fledged television production and media company. So we work with nine different media outlets to get these stories that we tell about people like yourself. Mm -hmm. um, you were just on our series, Branded, and we get to really tell the story behind people and who they are and what they do and get that out to the world in a really, really big way, like in the 100 million type of way. That's incredible. And you know, your story, I mean, it sounds like, wow, she's done so much, but it wasn't as easy as perhaps it always kind of comes across because you had some struggles when you first you know got to New York right it was like you have this yeah. dream but it wasn't like it just took off immediately you had a lot of obstacles and you got through them yeah uh, through is a big word I feel like there's obstacles every single day when you're an entrepreneur so through sounds very finite um, it's a struggle. It's an absolute struggle. And I'll talk a little bit about my um, entry into New York City, my first four days. 
so I, I'll have to paint the picture. You know, here I am. I turned 40 years old. I wake up in the middle of the night in a panic, thinking I've seen every episode of Sex and the City. I know there's more to life. Like, I'm living a great life. I have no complaints, mm -hmm. but I'm not fulfilled. Yeah. I'm not living my dream. I'm not making yeah. an impact on the planet. And so I uh, pack up my dog. I pack up all my things, and I move to New York City eight weeks later not knowing one person. It's called the No Man, the No Plan, the No Job program. Um, and I just knew I was going to follow my dreams. And I know billions of people do that. And they come to New York and they sleep in their car or on a subway or whatever the case may be. But I was 40. I'm like, I have no business doing this. Um, but thankfully, I didn't know any better. And to your point, I had a really rough start. I had rented a place on Airbnb. Um, sadly, there was a murder in the apartment on the steps of the place that I was staying, and I walked into that scene, uh, not a very pleasant situation on a New Year's Eve. And two days prior to that, actually that day and one day prior, I had been on two subways that were evacuated uh, for suicide jumpers. One, um, Ginger, my dog, and I had to actually climb 14 train cars and climb up onto the tracks. And my hey, dear, my... I'm sorry, real quick, just your oh, yeah. hearing is hitting the microphone a little bit. Yep. Sorry. Yeah, no, you're good. Okay, good. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> so, mind you, I'm brand new to the city. I don't know anybody. And I'm like, this is a lot of weird chaos happening. Um, and then, of course, after the second day that in a row that that happened, I walked into the murder scene. So thinking things mm -hmm. couldn't get worse, I actually went to stay with not a friend, but someone that I had known for two days uh, that I met on a dating site. Not a smart move, but I had no other choice. And I just couldn't wait to get to my new apartment. My moving shipment was being delivered. I'm like, I've been through a lot. I've had a lot of trauma. I just want to get, like, I just want to touch my things, right? I just want to, yeah. like, put on my sweaters and sit in my new room and be sad <laughs> about all these things that have happened. And unfortunately, the next day on New Year's, I found out that my moving shipment was, I was robbed and to about the tune of $50,000. So oh. everything that I had my entire life, that I packed up, this is day four now in New York City, yeah. was gone. And so to say it was a troubling time is uh, an understatement. I mean, I definitely, I had PTSD. I was literally like so depressed. I had no friends, no things. I had ginger and I kept being very grateful for that. I kept saying, I don't care what's happened to me. I've got my puppy. That's all I care about. I'm going to move forward. <laughs> and I'm so... I don't know if I want to say grateful that those things happen, but I'm so appreciative now because what happened is when you're stripped of everything, you have no choice. You have to put one foot in front of the other. So I literally went to Century 21. I bought one pair of jeans and one shirt. I had my parka still because I was wearing it. And I literally, every day, I just like put one foot in front of the other and I would walk around New York City in the snowstorms and I would go to a networking event every single night and I just kept focusing on my vision because you need a compelling future. When you're when you're down in the dumps, you definitely need a compelling future. So I would start to network and I would meet people and thankfully I met an agent that connected me with a way to start my own uh, pilot for a television talk show, which I did, which was then picked up by Eminem's Lifestyle Channel, still airs every Monday night at 8 p.m. And, you know, one thing led to another and another and a lot of hard work. And three years later, I have a closet full of clothes. I've got a television network and um, <gasps> a lot of gratitude for the pain and suffering that I had to go through to get here. That's incredible. I mean, such an amazing story and really an acknowledgement to you because, you know, entrepreneurship is about taking risks. And like you said, every single day you're up, you know, you're up against you know, life and the things that happen. And so yeah. it's, it's easy to, to get deetered or, you know, for an obstacle to be thrown in your way and for you to give up and want to quit. And, Cause I'm like you, I mean, it's just like, even this morning, it was just like, you know, I've been traveling a lot and it's just like, I just don't want to get up and face the day. So, you know, really being an entrepreneur, it takes something. And yes. your story is so inspiring. So I had to have you share that because you know, it's, it's probably easier to just get up and go to a nine to five, you know, cause there's that guaranteed yeah. check. There's, you know, the security of knowing, Hey, I'm going to get that money. All I need to do is just go and show up. But when you're an entrepreneur and you're in a brand new city, you don't know what tomorrow's going to hold. Right. 
Yeah, and that is, I think, the misnomer about entrepreneurism. People think that you have all of this freedom and you can go to lunch with your friends in the middle of the day and you know you can take vacation wherever you want and whenever you want and the reality is is you don't and you know it, you don't really have security if you have a job you you may have a little and you think that you have it but you truly don't and so being an entrepreneur is really understanding that and accepting that and being willing to do whatever it takes but also what I feel like people don't talk about and what I love, like you're all about like the truth and let's just get it out there and yeah. talk about what is, is that it's never, you're never secure. I don't feel, you never get to a place where you feel like, okay, I've got enough and things are fine and they're stable. I don't even know what stable means. I mean, that just, it's like what? But you constantly have to tread this path of, you know, you feel, it's like a card house. You feel like it could come crashing down at any moment. And at the same time, you're building it as fast as you possibly can. And it's going higher and higher and higher. So it's just an interesting um, journey. And I think, you know, I'm fortunate that I've been around in my career a while now, a few decades. And I'm starting to learn that that's just the game. Like, that's just what is. And I think the more comfortable you can get with that, the more success you can create because you realize like there is no other, there is no other way for me. I can't get a job. I'd be fired in a week because I just, I can't follow other people's guidelines and rules. I have such a drive to like do more and give more and be more and make a difference on the planet. So it's, um, yeah, it's an interesting journey, but one I wouldn't trade for the world. That's amazing. And that's, yeah. that's what Conscious Wealth Builders is about. It's about yeah. coming into alignment with your true authentic purpose and then creating a business around that. And that's exactly what you've done. Yeah, and it's funny with our business. Like I always say it kind of happened by accident, but nothing was by accident. You know, by accident I mean I worked seven days a week for an entire year with four days off and spent every penny and some I didn't have um, to create what I have. But it really, um, when you're on that track and you're on that path, it just sort of like things are drawn to you. And when you're about, like for me, I came from the personal development speaking world and it was always about a guru and it was always about like that guru changing lives. And a little bit I had a disconnect because I felt like nobody else can do that for you. You have to do it for yourself. And although these people were giving the tools and they're amazing and I don't take anything away from that. I always felt the missing link was that you're the guru, like you're responsible for your own happiness and your own success and your own results. And um, it wasn't until I shifted from like trying to be a speaker and trying to be you know, this author and this personality to making it about other people, like mm. to telling other people's stories that I started to have success. And that I think is all the difference in the world because you do have to be conscious, you have to be ecological, you have to be giving to others in order to create success for yourself. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful, that's amazing. <laughs> that is so exactly what this is. It's about making a difference for other people. And yeah, so often, you know, when we make it about ourselves is when we get in our head. You know, yeah. we're all up in the head. It's like, you know, how do I get ahead and how to, but yeah, if you just make it about other people and you're focusing on the other person, you get into your heart space and yes. massive creativity just explodes. Problem solving, you know, connection, deep connection, the synchronicities, all of that magic in life really happens when you're making it about others. And I think that's what you're pointing to. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's so much fun. Like I get so much joy from seeing people succeed. I know like you just came to our Brandit program and we're part of our series. And then just yeah. because of a coincidental, um, you know, meeting, you were able to go on and shine and open at a red carpet event singing and do all of these things. And that's what life is really all about. It's kind of like giving people that spark and then they're the gasoline, like they run for it. They, yeah. you know, create these massive like firestorms of uh -huh. opportunities. But I believe that that's really what makes a difference in the world is when you can just set that canvas and then let people like, design whatever masterpiece they're going to. That's awesome. So really what you do, Bonnie, in a nutshell is you take people who, you know, are up to something, playing a big game in life, you know, whether it's, you know, to empower other people or they're just being extraordinary in some kind of way and you put them on a platform so that they can be heard, like a yes. media platform. Absolutely. I mean, we, we really tell people's stories. That's, you know, our tagline is your story broadcast everywhere. So yeah. we work with everybody from like the struggling entrepreneur to people like yourself that have created a movement to, 
um, you know, many famous speakers and everywhere in between. We work with a lot of everyday people and yeah. those sometimes are the people doing the most magic in the world, but they're not the ones getting the attention. So yeah. we're able and we have the ability to take their story, to film it, to edit it in a way that really is compelling to an audience and then to broadcast that out to millions and millions of people. That's phenomenal. And tell some of the people, um, the networks that you're working with and the distribution channels that you have. Yeah, so super exciting. We're always adding by the day. Uh, well, not by the day. We're adding uh, very quickly. Um, so we're on Eminem's Lifestyle Channel, which reaches 2.5 million people here in New York City. Amazing. One of my most favorite and exciting, we're on Glass TV. And Glass is a closed caption network that broadcasts in 50,000 nail salons and spas across the U.S., reaching 3 million per month. And they wow. broadcast our shows five to six times a day. So. We get so many uh, fan letters from people getting a manicure and like, oh my gosh, I saw this person and changed my life. And wow. that's, yeah, that's really rewarding. We're on Huffington Post. We're on Unreal.me. We are coming in the next two weeks to iOS where you'll have an app you can just download onto your iPhone or any iOS device and access nice. the Bon, bon Network's channel. Um, we're working with Roku, with Amazon Fire, with Footprint TV, uh, broadband television, and then Free Speech Television, which is a conglomeration of all of the nonprofit television um, networks across the U.S. So that reaches 40 million homes with their reach. So wow. it's an yeah, it's been an incredible um, journey. I'm actually leaving in two weeks to go to France for MIPCOM, and we're talking to countries. Like, I know that sounds crazy, but we're talking to different countries about distribution rights for our right. series and our shows. So it's... Um, it's incredible the power of media and the power of what um, having the platform to broadcast that person's story can do. I mean, we get, we've had people on our shows end up on the front of APN newspaper in India. Yeah. Um, we've had people end up in USA Today. Like it's, it's really amazing what media can do for the everyday person and for their business to really get it out there and, you know, shout out to the world in a big way. Well, yeah, you're absolutely right. And really, this is, you know, why I invited you into, you know, this this online summit, because the power of media is it, it really is what will kind of make or break you almost. You know, you look yeah. at you look at social media, um, the people who have the most following and the most likes, obviously, the more that you can get your message out in the world, obviously, the more um, uh, the bigger the bigger the impact that you can make. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And everything, you know, that you do is message to market match. Like we're very um, clear on our topics. We cover topics on entrepreneurialism, lifestyle and inspiration. And because of that, we're able to match to that audience. So, you know, we do it in a way that people are actually looking to consume that information. Yeah. And then all of a sudden they're like, wow, you know, I just saw Olivia's um, conscious capitalism, that is amazing. Like her movement is incredible because that's what they're looking for. That's what they're hungry for. Yeah. So yeah, that's what media really does. It bridges that gap between the consumer that is looking for content and stories and fulfillment and the everyday person and allows them to match up. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, I attend a lot of different workshops and seminars, you know, throughout the world, you know, going to different, you know, gurus and like how to, you know, build your business. And all of them say, media if you can get on a tv show or if you can get on a talk show or you know any way to get yourself out there through the media is what's going to build you and your brand quickly yes and that's what you do and so i just want to share a little bit about the brand it story and that whole experience yeah. so you and rhonda uh swan rhonda swan is yep. the unstoppable mama you two met in Dubai and I was, you know, there with you ladies. So I got to kind of see how this all evolved, which was really cool. But you two yeah. powerhouses met in Dubai and you created a TV show called Brand It. So share yeah. a little bit of, with the viewers about that. And then I want to share, you know, my experience through that. And then I know you've got some upcoming events and I really want to take a stand for people that are, you know, whether they're already have their business in place or ready to take it to the next level, you know, this could be a perfect way for them to do that. Absolutely. So yeah, so Livia and I met in Dubai. We were on a speaking conference um, of international speakers and we were at Dubai Internet City. 
and also met this other woman, Rhonda, who is a branding expert and specialist. And so we put together this event called Media in the City, where we brought 13 women from all over the world, and we spent five days really hashing out their brand. She taught them everything about you know, getting your message perfect, how to monetize it, how to productize it, how to really get it out to the world. Mm. And then my team came in and we did a full studio day where we filmed all of the women on set, on panel interviews, we brought in different celebrities, we brought in different network executives, actors, agents, like you name it, we had it. And also orchestrated networking events each night so that people could connect and further their brand and further their business initiatives. And then the next day we brought in a producer from CBS, Peter Rotondo, and we filmed a series called Brand It, where documentary style we showcase each of those women's stories in their business and um, and what they're doing in the world, which of course you are one of the stars of that show. So yeah, amazing, amazing experience. Um, and to your point, like media, I think is the number one most important thing you can do for your business, not only for reach and getting your message out there, but also credibility. Yeah. It is a third party way for you to tell your story. So it, I imagine with you, Livia, it's so much easier when someone says, well, you know, what is, what is your business? I'm not sure. You send them that piece. All of a sudden they know everything about you. They know who you yeah. are, but you didn't have to sell them. You didn't have to like, I'm Livia. I'm doing amazing things, which you are, but yeah. it's so tiring. Come on, people. It like, is. It's so exhausting. <laughs> oh, yeah. But just send them the media clip. This is a reel, and bam, it's like you are elevating yourself to this incredible level. Totally. So, well, and I love what you're pointing to. It's attraction marketing. Attraction yes. marketing is not where you're having to, you know, beat down doors and whatever. You're attracting, you're just getting your message out to the world and you're attracting people to you, which is so much easier. Yeah. You know, to have a customer come to you as opposed to you going to the customer. I mean, you Absolutely. are going to the customer in a way where you're getting the message out there to them, but they're coming to you if they are interested in your product or service. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So yeah, it's, it's so important. It's so critical. I know myself before I started, um, the media network, that's what I was investing in. I was doing, you know, pay for play opportunities on Fox and ABC and NBC. And that's really how I built my business because you send that to a per perspective. I get so excited. I can't I speak a perspective client or, you know, a new consumer consulting job and it really opens doors so awesome. um, yeah so that was that event and we do have some upcoming events we have a really exciting media experience day in January it's uh, January 8th and 9th and it's here in New York City it's a day and a half where you come in you get media training you get to meet top publicists um, that evening, we have a very special event at uh, White House Black Market where we have a celebrity stylist and some champagne, and he's going to actually style people and teach you what looks good on camera. And then the whole next day is spent filming. Um, so you're on set, you're getting a professional photo shoot with mics and, you know, on set and on the monitors so that you literally leave there with this package of media assets that um, you can then go and brand yourself and brand your business and, and really show people like this is the level that I'm playing at. And then, of course, we're going to broadcast those shows on all of the networks. So we're going to get you um, out in front of a lot of people. That is so awesome. I love it. My experience of the, you know, the whole brand it coming to New York and, you know, getting the training from Rhonda was so life changing. And then being yeah. there with these other women that are, you know, it was, it was amazing. All of them were so purposeful. All of them yes. were so on purpose coming from their heart, you know, and you know, women, we just have that intuitive, natural ability to come into our heart space. It's kind of just a natural place for us to go, but it was just a beautiful, experience being able to hear you know all these amazing stories and all these different business ideas and their visions of making a difference yeah. in the world and then capturing that on video so even my clip from the branded uh, TV series just went uh, well it hasn't gone live but it's on the internet now yeah and it was so cool because I just I posted it on Facebook and now I'm like you know out in the community and I went to an event where someone from my Facebook, a Facebook follower, was there at this event, and they came up to me and they said, hey, I watched your TV show. Oh, my God, it was so amazing, so inspiring. I just love what you're doing. How can I be a part of it? So, again, it points to, and I'm just like, oh, wow, yeah, okay, cool. They saw it, and that's probably someone I never would have targeted 
Yes. You know, had I have just been focusing on just trying to get that customer again, just the importance of being able to have something like this for your business to brand yourself, to really take it to the next level, I think is so critical, especially nowadays when there's so many experts. Yes. Right. How do you stand out? You know, how are you making yourself different? And you're giving people, um, you're giving people the assets, you're giving them the deliverables to be able to stand out, to have yes. their message really heard on a whole different level and platform, which is really cool. Absolutely. No, it's so true. And I'm so glad you had that experience. I mean, we hear that every single day from yeah. people that have been on our shows that they're all of a sudden out um, and someone connects with them. They're like, oh my gosh, you're that girl because they saw, you know, your story on the show and you don't realize how many people you're touching and inspiring and some reach out to you. But the reality is there probably are hundreds and hundreds of people that you've already inspired with that story that don't. And, but you've changed them. You've made an impact on their life. And I know that that's what your message is and what you are all about is serving the planet. So it, it is a lot of fun. And um, like I said, we do have the media day here, the media experience in January. So anyone that is interested in that, please let me know. Yes. And we're going to put a link below too. So yeah. we're going to put link a link below. below. <laughs> so if you want a free consultation with Bonnie, you can, um, you know, put your information in there and she'll give you a call and just go through all of the different things that you've got going on. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I would love, that would be my gift. I would love to give to everybody that is watching this or listening to this is I would really love to, you know, offer you my expertise and give you a consultation and share with you what media can do for you as well as, you know, help tone your message and tweak it and get it. So whether you're doing our show, whether you're doing, you know, Good Morning America or any other show that you're ready to go, you're locked and loaded and you've got that media experience that you need. That's so awesome. I love that. So cool. Thank you for that contribution. My pleasure. Yeah. And then do you want to share a little bit? I know you and Rhonda, you're doing another brand it for women, correct? We are. We are. Okay. Yeah, we haven't set the dates yet, but we okay. will definitely be doing that. And probably the best thing to do, I don't know if it's possible to post also that video, um, yes. you know, down below, but it was an incredible experience. Um, like I said, lives, you know, Livia touched on the fact that everybody was so conscious and so specific and so committed to making their brand and their dream come true so if that's something that you know is of interest to you definitely check out that show oh absolutely um, we're pretty much your media solution anything that you want to do you just want to appear on a talk show we've got that if you want your own series we actually do work with people on a one-on-one -on -one basis um, and as long as their topic is in line with the content that we're developing we actually will create a series for you and brand you and market you as you know the the star of that particular series so yeah. we've got a lot going on and it's a lot of fun awesome. and um, really a lot of life-changing experiences that's so cool. And then share a few of your other projects that you're working on too. I know you've got, so Ginger is your, is your baby. That's your puppy. Yeah, where's where Ginger? Where is Ginger? <laughs> She's roaming around here somewhere. Um, so yeah, we've got a lot of shows. So right now I would say our two most exciting shows that we're doing are Savor, which is our cooking show. And that is filmed inside New York City restaurants. Wow. So we go to a restaurant establishment. We work with their chef. We work with their staff and we create these incredible stories of what's behind the restaurant and that's a lot of fun that's so cool. uh, we just fin finished filming here in Chelsea in New York with a famous chef Meadow Lynn and now we're headed down to Miami in uh, November and we're filming down there with another chef and then we also have a really cool show called the commando coach and what that is is we feature different what we call celebrity coaches so people that are in the coaching space and um, they have an impactful message and then we bring in subjects and literally the, this is where the commando comes in we put them in a seven minute segment the guest brings their issue and the coach is responsible for giving them implementable and succinct coaching that they can then go out and nice. um, help heal and change their life. So that's a lot of fun. We've got um, Ashley Good coming up in the next series and then we have a couple of other tricks up our sleeve with some pretty famous coaches and yeah, I mean, we're just, we're constantly putting out great content and meeting really interesting people along the way. So any shows that you're interested in, if you're in the restaurant industry, if you're a coach, let us know and we can talk about opportunities. That's so cool. And then you've got the Jin Jin show. 
We do have the Jin Jin show, so my little angel, I wish she would make an appearance here, but she's, you know, roaming around. Um, she has her own show called Adventures with Jin Jin, and she travels around New York City and gets up to shenanigans. You see her in Ubers and on the subway and, you know, hanging out at the firehouse, and that's a lot of fun, too. She's quite the character. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, she's a really great, she's got a good following and a really good show. She really talks about her inner struggles of managing work-life balance being a CEO of a brand and her dating life and she really puts it all out there and this is what I love about you you have the most coolest personality lady you're you know you're you're serious when you need to be you are committed to making a difference you are so committed but you have this zany hysterical <laughs> side of you I mean that is so funny what Thank a, you. What a cool concept. And that's what I love about you. Just a full rounded person. You're so awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Like attracts like. I feel the same about you. You're such a powerhouse. Every time I watch your um, video, like if I'm having a down moment, I play your video. I have like three go-tos and I'm like, oh my God, okay, I can change the world. Like it's just, it's so much fun. You are so changing the world. And I mean, I shared with you, I'm like, I'm clear you're the next Oprah. I mean, you are like unstoppable lady. It, it's, it's happening and you know, and you are the, and, and, and you know, I, I love Oprah, don't get me wrong. And you have such an authenticity such a realness you. about you, such, I mean, more so than I've probably seen, um, you know, in this space in a long time. And so that's just a real acknowledgement to your own personal development and who you've become. And Thank I just, so much. yeah, I love being in your space because I get to be me and you're just unconditional. And there's like no, no judgment from Bonnie. Of course, you know, we all have our judgments, whatever, but you just, you embrace people, you love people, you allow them to be you. And it just, you know, for someone like me, when I came on the Branded show, I just felt so comfortable, you know? Thank you. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's funny people get angry, you know, because we don't give them a lot of uh, guidelines, but that's purposefully done that way because we want authenticity. We want people to just show up and like, you're the expert on you. There's nothing you need to do to prepare. I promise you, I'm going to pull out whatever we need. Yes. But um, but people are amazed when they see their show because they, they all, everybody sounds so wise and intelligent and put together and thoughtful. And that's really because that's in every single one of us. It just take somebody to pull that out and to say, you know, orchestrate it in a way that it's like, here's my message world. I'm coming. Look out. Yeah. You are so masterful at that. In fact, I'll post uh, my show, my TV segment below here too. So people can get a taste of what it looks like. Yeah. Um, and then obviously, you know, it's an alignment with the conscious wealth builders and you and I have even talked about perhaps creating a TV show, conscious Absolutely. wealth builders and having uh, conscious entrepreneurs and and that's something I still you know am very much you know committed to doing so that perhaps will be here in the near future good Yay. good yeah it's it's such an important message and it's a needed message it's so overlooked especially you know I live in New York City so everything is fast-paced it's run 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 um, and you don't sometimes have time to stop and think about the bigger picture but it's when you do stop and you do consider all of that that is needed that you are able to make shifts and make a big impact on the world. So I would love nothing more than to be able to support that program. Yeah, that's gonna be so much fun. And then just share with us a little, we've got just a few more minutes here. Um, the next you know, five, 10 years, like what's your vision, Bonnie? Cause I know <laughs> you've got a, a big vision and I want all the viewers to know where you're heading. Yeah, gosh. So the next five years, it's going to be uphill, um, but in a good way, useful way. Um, I, like I said, I'm leaving in uh, about two weeks to go to France to MIPCOM and have some, uh, well, n two exciting things. Number one, I get to meet two of my biggest mentors in life, Shonda Rhimes and Kiefer Sutherland. I am obsessed and in love with both of them for different reasons in the television space. Um, but more importantly, I'm going there to secure meetings with very high level um, distribution companies in countries like China, which is the largest media buying uh, country right now, especially for US type of content. Um, there's also a lot of European countries that are very high consumable in the media space. So I'm going to really work on securing very large distribution so that we can continue to um, fund the production of all of these incredible series and incredible stories that are making an impact and then just continue to grow the community. So grow it so it's a very large 
um, network of women, of conscious people, of people that are all about lifestyle, inspiration, entrepreneurship. And then my bigger vision, and I'm just going to say this because it's a, you know, I'm a CEO of this media company, and so my bigger vision is to sell or have that company acquired by a large media company. So own network would be a dream come true. Um, we're already working with Huffington Post, but companies like She Knows or even AOL or Verizon now is buying up everything. So my vision with this is I really want to create a very large um media asset to make a big statement on the world and to be, you know, an Ariana Huffington type um, that has made an impact by telling people's stories, by putting, you know, the everyday person or the coach or the author out in front of the world. So yeah. that's my vision. Uh, we're only taking it five years. I, the 10-year one is just like too overwhelming for me because I have so many things I want to do in my life, but that's really the, we're going to stop at three to five. Um, but that's, you know, that's the direction I'm headed. That's where we're going. And um, I plan on having a lot of fun and working really hard on the journey. That's amazing. That's cool. And so, and then just real quickly, because we've got all different kinds of viewers from the the beginner, you know, we've got people yeah. that are going to be watching this that perhaps are working a nine to five, but they know that there's something within them that is wanting to come out to be expressed in the world. And then we've got CEOs of conscious companies that are going to be watching this as well. And you work with all of those kinds of clients, correct? We sure do. Yeah. So we're definitely for the everyday person. You know, I'm a don't quit your day job person, but definitely work all night long on your dream and on your vision. Awesome. And so we can really um, help expedite that process for people. And then we've had really top high level CEOs uh, that have been parts of the show. We've worked with Jeff Hazlett from C-Suite Television. We have worked with um, many CEOs of cybersecurity companies. And I mean, you name it, we've had people on the show. We've had celebrities, Prina Tenori. We've got had so many different types of people. Right. Um, and we don't really, the results don't really differentiate whether you are, you know, the person working at, Geico insurance and you're cube miserable, but you have this passion and dream, or you're a high level CEO of you know a top tech company. And again, we've had the whole gamut. The results are always the same, and it's really you know people want to relate to your story and support you. And by doing media, it really is a great vehicle to uh, be able to do that. Awesome, that's so great. Well, I am just so again honored that you came and spent this time with us today. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Yes. Thank you for having me. It's been such an honor. And thank you everybody for watching and for being a part of this. I know that, you know, we're all busy people and to really make a choice to commit to a resource like this where you can get, you know, wisdom from so many top professionals. I just, I really honor you for that. That's something that's really important in my life. And I love meeting kindred spirits that also feel the same way. Well, yes. And uh, yeah, thank you for your time. And thank you viewers for really tuning in this message. And I know that you can make a huge difference for people. So no matter where you're at in your business, if you really want to take it to the next level, get it out in the media. I highly recommend Bonnie. She's the best in the best as far as I'm concerned. So Thank click the you. link, yeah, click the link below and take advantage of it. And yeah. awesome, yeah, the awesome opportunity. She's going to give you some of her own time, you know, to discuss and break down your business and how you want to take it to the next level through media. And that's just such a huge gift. So thank you for that. Absolutely. Thank you, Olivia, for creating this amazing movement. I appreciate that. Thank you, guys. You have a wonderful day. Many blessings to all. Bye. Bye.